To a story now you'll only see here, a Scarborough business, the target of brazen burglars, and it was all caught on camera. CTV Scott Lightfoot is live near Kennedy and Finch, and Scott, these thieves cut their way inside? Yeah, no shortage of irony here that a store that sells power saws would be robbed by two men armed with a power saw. The owner here thought he'd done everything right. He's got bars on the windows, locks on the doors. He's got chains on the gate. But as you'll see in this video, it was no match for these determined thieves. So they cut right through here. This was the first sign that someone had broken into Alpine Lawn and Garden Equipment. When uh, we walk in, uh, we... You saw stuff missing. More than $50,000 worth of product was gone when staff arrived on scene. But it wasn't until owner Dominic DeMilta viewed his own security video. I can't believe it. I really can't believe it. That he realized just how this heist had happened, watching as burglars used an abrasive saw to cut right through the security cables holding their pricey targets. It's just incredible, you know, like unbelievable. They went through with a, with a cut-off saw. It happened just after one this morning. Two men started by cutting through the chain and cable, holding the gate closed. They had a TS-420, still cut off saw. Something just like what sold inside the Scarborough store where the two thieves were headed. You can clearly see the marks from where the thieves sawed right through the lock on this door. They were only inside the store for about five minutes, and it looks like they knew exactly what they were going for. I believe they've been in here before, just... Uh, to uh, lock the place over. Along with two large saws, the thieves also got away with two generators, two snow blowers. Most of the trimmers were on uh, up there. Multiple trimmers and several leaf blowers. DeMilta believes the saw user was skilled. And it looks like the guy knows what he's doing with the saw because he, he, he started there, there like, a, like a professional guy. And it appears the pair knew what they were doing crime-wise as well, backing a U-Haul truck right up to the door for easy access and a quick escape. Police are now investigating, and DeMilta is left in disbelief. It's only the second time in 40 years he's ever had a break-in. But uh, nothing like this. It just right through the front door and smash and grab. Now, staff are trying to come up with ways to better fortify this place. The video you saw has been turned over to police, and all of the items that were stolen have uh, numbers scratched into them, uh, identification numbers that could make it more difficult for the thieves to resell them. Reporting live on Kennedy, I'm Scott Leifold. Let's ride it back to you.